Hello everyone, welcome to Linear App Tutorial for Beginners. Linear is a fast, intuitive project management tool designed for software teams to track issues, manage workflow and ship projects very efficiently. In this guide, we will walk you through everything you need to get started with Linear, from setting up your workspace to mastering 8 keyboards. Right, so let's dive in. If you don't know what is a Linear, so Linear is a build for speed and simplicity combining task tracking, roadmaps, and team collaboration in one slick platform. It's loved by startups and tech team for its, you know, there's a lot of things which we'll talk in this video. So to get started, first of all, just go to your Google and search for Linear app and click on this first link. This is official ID. You will land up here. Now let's talk about the pricing and then we will start the tutorial. Here you can see there are four plans. The free, the basic, the business and enterprise. The free is completely free. Yeah, free for everyone, but it has limited resources and limited access. If you think you should buy for the next plan, you can watch this video and you can think about this. So let's go and click on get started. Now here you can just make an account with your email address or just with a Google. So I will use a Google to make an ID because that is easy way to do. You can also go with the normal email address here. Click on continue and this is the dashboard. So first of all, it will ask the workspace name. So I will just write here Filex Express and this will be the exact the workspace. If you don't want to leave a space, you can just remove it here for the username, right? And workspace will be hosted in which, uh, let's say I will just select here United States and click on create workspace. Now within a few seconds, it will just create it. Now click on get started. Here, I will choose a light theme here, right? And click on continue. You can just go with a normal dark mode if you want. So here it is the meet the command menu. So complete action, any action in second by typing it into the command menu. So you can press your control plus K and click on continue. You can link and authenticate with GitHub. I will just wait later. Now you can invite your teammate by using this link, right? And you can also invite with the email address. So just enter the email address and you can send invite. Now let's click on continue here. You can subscribe to the newsletter. You can also follow linear app on X. And here I will just go and click on continue. So we are good to go. Now let's go to this official dashboard of linear app. If you see carefully, linear app, uh, linear interface is divided into key section. You can see there's a sidebar. You can access projects, teams, and settings, and there's a lot more here. Right now, this is your team, so I can access the projects which I'm working on. This is a workspace. You can call this as an issue or task. Now we will just go one by one here. Right then, there's an issue list which you can see here, the main dashboard. You can view the task in your current project or filter it out. You can see here, right? So I will just talk about detail here. Now click any task to see description and task to see description comments and subtask, right? And let's go one by one here. So on the left side, this is the inbox. So all the emails which you will receive will show up here. Obviously we need to connect our email. So I will show you how you can do that. And you can exactly use the inbox section just like how you use your Gmail. Now this is called my issues. So my issues, you can call this as a task which is assigned to you. We will later in this video, we will know how we can just create a task. Then we will come back to this section again. Now this is a project. So all the projects which I'm working on will show up here. So let's say create a new project here, right? And I can create the project name. Let's say I will just write here file X P1, right? And I can add a sort summary. You can write here. Let's say I will just write here project one, I can write the description, a project brief and collect ideas. And there's a lot of option you will see here. For example, this is a backlog, right? So you can call this as, uh, let's say this is a plan in progress. So you can just assign or categorize this project. This project is a priority. If yes, then you can set the level of priority here, right? You can even set as a urgent or there's a no priority. If you press the number, it will take you there. For example, if I press four, it will set as a low. Let's say I will click on three, it will set as a medium. This is a lead. So you can set this as a lead or this is a client and you can assign this to your specific name, member of your team. This is regarding, you can assign, for example, I want to assign this as an Anil, so I can assign it. 
now this is a dependency so you can just click on block by blocking so you can create sub uh, you know subtask not subtask but you can create a dependency right from here now let's say this is started so it should get started by 2 may and it should get end by 9th of may right now i can set this as a milestone so milestone is basically like a subtask to create this project i can create a subtask so here i can just write here create all mono donors work regarding this project and I can just assign this to somebody I can also set a deadline that it should be done till to me now I can add another task and click on create project now in this way we can create this project I can view the project by clicking on it you can see here I can create issues it means I can create a task to complete this project so there's a difference between a milestone and there's a difference between our task a milestone is basically you can divide the project in separate parts and once you reach the first milestone, you can start working for the milestone too. So it's a way to show progress to your team and it will show exactly to your clients, to your owner, that you are working and you're progressing on that specific project. Now inside that project, we can create a task, right? So I will show you how you can do that. So you can create a task directly from here or let's say this is your team. So we just created a file express that is basically uh, a workspace here inside workspace I can even create some task which is called issues so don't get confused now here this is how it is and basically we can, we can create it from here this is a to-do la to list here uh, let's get back to the project now I can create a different project right and simultaneously I can work on so many projects at one point of time now let's say I want to create a task inside this project to complete this project so I'll just go and click on create new task. I can press C in my keyboard. Now what's the issue title? Now let's say I will just here make a, or I will say right here, research the topics for projects. Let's say this is regarding this project is regarding content. And in the description, I will just write here regarding Filex Express YouTube channel. I can, this is just a suggestion but I can assign to Anil or I can search the name once I add my teammate into my workspace. I can put this as a backlog, what's a priority and I can even while selecting the, while making the task or issue, I can select on which project should I mention it. So by default it is on file xp1, I can make a separate project and it will give me an option. Right now I can set a milestone. So this task is regarding which milestone. It's not necessary to create a milestone, but if you have created, you have an option to select it. Right, now I can just go and click on create issue or after this task, I want to create another task. So I can click on create more. By the way, if you want to upload a document, right? So I can upload a document directly from here. I can upload a file, video, you can see here. There's a shortcut key, control plus enter, control plus U. I can even zoom out this entire workspace. I can write whatever information I want to write it here now once I'm done I can even create a tag so this tag is basically to separate it out let's say this is a feature I'll just go and click on create issue now this issue has been created now this the interface while we're seeing this it is in the list form but I want to view this in a, you can say here board section so this is a board section right now this is backlog one by the way I can just go and create a new issue directly from here right and this is how you can just make it real easy and same way you can click on this plus icon and you will able to new section here now if i just go this is dependencies there's a status backlog plan and everything let's say this is plan so there should be a new section where i can create a new section just to move this up so if you have used trello asana then in those the kanban this is basically called kanban board you can see here this is how it is right while making this video you can see here this is my kanban Right, so in this way, I can just move it directly without changing the status. Uh, it, sound, it may sound confusing, but I hope you understood this. If you don't know, it's fine. You can just follow the simple way. So this is it, and I can just go and click on creating new task. Now, let's say I will just get back to my issues. So if something is assigned to me, it will show me. So let's say it is this topic is assigned to me. I can just come up here. Oh, so I have to do this work. I will complete this work. And I will uh, mark completed here and in this way this task is done right so let's say this is done so I will just mark it here done now if I just go back to the project 
you can see here this task has been done, right? So this is really easy. If I just go and click on view, now what is called views? So you can create custom views uh, using filter to show only the issue or project you want to see. You can save, share and favorite this views for each access and faster team collaboration. You can also save any existing views by clicking this plus icon. So let's say I want to create a new view. And from here, I can create it, right? So let's say I can just go and click on, let's say there's a new issue. So I will just write here, issue topic one and click on save. You can see here, it has been added, right? So this is how you can do so. And if I just go back to views, you can see here issue topics one, right? It has been added. Now if I just go and click on here, inside that I will see a lot more task here. And inside that I will see projects and this is a welcome to linear. So this is a, a demo project, but I hope you got it. So there's a not much difference between the project and views. So views is just for a very particular thing here, but you can create a new view. You can even change the uh, display, how you want to view it. And you can directly switch between projects and issues from here. If I just go to more, you will see two options, teams and members. So this is a team. Now I can assign a team member directly from here. Let's say I just want it to as done here. Let's go back here. Now I can just go and click on three dots and I click on team member. I can add it, right? So in general, this is member. So I can just add a more member, but very specific to only this project, right? So in this way, I can change the general information, the templates, and there's a lot of things. You can integrate your Slack notification, right? Simply just go and click on connect. It will take you a new page here and you will be able to just enter your Slack workspace name here and you will be able to connect once you enter the password. Pretty easy to do, right? So this will be regarding only this project. You can create a new project and you can add different set of members to that project. In this way, it's really easy and very seamless to manage a lot of projects and a lot of team member uh, in a very simple way. Now this is my team, right? So this is Filex Express. Now you can just go and click on three dots. I can put as archive or I can just go and click on create a new team and I can create a new team here. Now let's say I'm working on this team, I can create new set of topics, new set of issues, you know, and a lot of things here. Let's say I'm working on a project. So this is a project we just created, right? And I can create more project. This is a view, so I can create new view here. So very simple to do. If I want to import any kind of issues, I can even import it. So if I want to import it from Asana, I can import it. They should give me an option to import from Trello, but unfortunately it's not right and uh, you can just simply import all this data directly into your linear right so this is really easy and very simple to do now you can just invite directly your team member from here there's a link github and you can see if i just go and click on three dots in the top left side corner i will able to go to the settings the settings has a lot of option i can create labels right depending on what kind of work i do if i am marketers i will have a different set of labels right and uh, let's say i'm video content creators i will just make a level videos thumbnails review scripting right in those way these are the projects so you can just change the project status directly from here you can create a new one you can you can write the initiatives and other things here you can just make customers requests so there's a lot of option you can correct uh, you know create it from here you can create uh, emojis you can import your all the gifs and emojis from slack which your internal team member use you can interact um, you know integrate sorry integrate with a different set of third party application which um, there are not a lot of option but you have some of this option which you can do it from here these are the AI agents, so you can also use AI agents. This is time of AI, right? So that is pretty easy. And from here, you can change the name of your workspace. You can add a logo, you can add a URL, you can even delete it up, you can change the region, right? So you will find all these options here if you want to you know, pay for billing of linear, so you can just pay it from here. How many users are there? If you want to import the data or export the of linear data, you can export it up. Right now, this is team. So if I want to create a different team, so I can just go and click on create a different team, right? But for that, I need to buy a subscription. So this was really easy thing to do. And I hope you found this video introduction video, step-by-step -step video, very useful. And if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe.